All right, battlers, welcome back to a brand new video. We're gonna see how we can get those riches from the Team Rocket Grunts. This was during the Stardust event where you're getting double dust for beating the Grunts, and then if you stack a star piece on top, you actually get three times dust. So we're getting 1,500 dust per match. Let's see if we can get to 50,000. Going right into round one, this grunt is going to be using Poliwag. I believe she said these waters are treacherous. I, I think that's her line. So we're gonna use our Venusaur here with some Vine Whips. We're gonna try to Vine Whip down the Poliwag, but it does get off the charge move. I'm gonna save up a little bit of energy for whatever comes in next. I think, yeah, it's gonna be a Poly Whirl. So we are going to use the Frenzy Plant here. It only takes a few Vine Whips to get to another Frenzy Plant. As you see, we have another one banked. So I'm gonna fire off a Frenzy Plant here against the Poly Wrath. It's gonna need a couple though. This is a thick boy and it's going to be tough to bring him down. But we got it handled. Double Frenzy Plant will do the trick. Now guys, a lot of these matches only last about 30 seconds sped up, which means that these matches probably lasted about twice as long uh, in real life. So these are one minute rocket matches. In this one, we're going to go into a Squirtle versus Venusaur matchup. I believe this one is uh, get ready to be defeated or something like that. Essentially, they're going to use the Gen 1 starters in their different stages. So first was Squirtle, now it's Charmeleon. I do have some energy banks, so because uh, Venusaur is weak to fire, I am going to swap out. I go into Articuno. This isn't a great choice because Ice is still weak to fire as well. However, Venusaur was in the back, so this works out perfectly for us. I'm just going to Ice Beam this Venusaur and use a few more frost breaths here to bring it down. We almost get there, we over tap a bit, I have to bring in Mammoth Swine to sweep up the match. We're gonna go into a third match here featuring Tyranitar. Tyranitar is a staple in the raid game. Its bite damage is incredible and its dark typing gives it tons of resistances. As you see here, we're facing off against Drowsy and we're just gonna shred this little yellow boy. With the bites, in comes another Drowsy, we are going to fire off the crunch here. I believe this rocket says, uh, are you afraid of psychics that use unseen power or something to that effect. So Hypno does come in. We do have a crunch ready for it though, and we're gonna drop this Hypno. Hypno is really hard to bring it down in the rocket battles, but Tyranitar or Titar as he's affectionately called, handles him really well. Another 1500 Stardust. These matches are a little bit out of order. I did move some matches around just to feature these key Pokemon. We're gonna use Tyranitar again, but this is our SmackDown variant from Community Day. Uh, this rocket uses flying type Pokemon. I think she says something about my flying type Pokemon directly, so it's pretty easy to pick her out. I do fire off the Stone Edge here against the Crobat. It does super effective damage. In comes a second Crobat here. And we're gonna use one more Stone Edge to finish it off. So again, Tyranitar sweeps this rocket in no time flat. Tyranitar is an awesome Pokemon to use in raids. If you don't have one powered up, I really suggest it, especially with all the ghost type raids that are going to be spawning for the Halloween event because Dark does resist ghosts. So we're gonna go into another rocket battle. This looks like a lot like the one we did before, but it's a little bit different. Uh, they are gonna leave with a Drowsy with Confusion, but as you can see, Tyranitar resisted and poor, uh, poor Rawls comes out with this little watermelon hat and gets taken down. In comes Curlia which, with its uh, watermelon hat and we're gonna crunch that one to win. For this Team Rocket battle, we do get a, awarded a Drowsy, which is pretty neat. Going to the next round, I open with Torterra into Cubone. So I actually picked the wrong Torterra, this one knows Bite. I usually name my Pokemon after their moves for easy selection, but I didn't name that one correctly. Uh, this rocket says you will be defeated into the ground is their, uh, their line. So in comes Raticate. It's kind of interesting that they would start off with a ground type Pokemon and then go into normal. However, Venusaur's Frenzy Plant does so much raw damage that we're able to take it down easily. In comes another Raticate, and we're just gonna use another Frenzy Plant here as well. These Team Rocket battles can be a lot of fun. Normally I use the 1500 CP or less Great League Pokemon to do it, but for this event, I just wanted to do it as fast as possible and it paid off. We're gonna flex our muscles with the Machamp. This rocket says normal does not mean weak, and normal's only weakness is fighting. So we are bringing out the king of the fighters. Here comes Machamp. A few counters bring down the Rattata, and then in comes the Raticate. The bite is starting to wear us down, so I am gonna fire off the dynamic punch here. We do get the excellent, which is cool. In comes another Raticate, and you know how this is going to go. This dynamic punch is not going to uh, treat this Raticate very well, and we sweep those mouses really quick. 
Mouses, mice, I don't know. Mouses is funnier. So we're going into another round here against a new rocket. I'm gonna open with Gallade. This is a dragon type rocket. She says, Roar, how did that sound? That is her intro. And Charm is going to hashtag get wrecked these dragon types. So this is interesting because Gallade is fighting and psychic, whereas Gardevoir is fairy and psychic. And you see there how much less damage the Dragon Breath did to Gardevoir. That's really, uh, typings really do matter. Especially with such similar Pokemon, it can get really confusing. But we take down that Grunt. In comes a new Grunt. This one says, don't tangle with us. We are going to bring in our shiny Charizard with the Community Day move Blast Burn. We're going to Fire Spin this Oddish. It is getting a lot of damage done to us, though. So we are going to shield the Seed Bomb and save this Blast Burn. Blast Burn is the best fire type move in the game. It does roast all of these grass types really easily, so we are going to hold on to our Charizard. Blast Burn the Gloom, in comes the Vile Plume, and we're going to do the same thing with this one. Blast Burn will finish off the Vile Plume, and we take that rocket down quick. We are going to feature Dialga here. I'm just going to go with raw damage, raw DPS. I powered up this 98% Dialga because it was one of my favorite Pokemon. It reminds me of the Alien Queen from the old Aliens movies. I don't know if you're a fan, but um, I remember watching those when I was a kid and I thought it was so cool. So I did power it up and double move it. It is over 4,000 CP. We're going to use a Thunder on that flying type Golbat. In comes Muck and just this raw damage of Draco Meteor is going to be enough to bring down this Muck. Dialga is an awesome Pokemon. Uh, Palkia is also pretty cool, but Dialga is my favorite. Going into a brand new battle, we are going to bring in our fire types yet again. I think this was another Don't Tangle With Us rocket. This rocket leads with Oddish. I do use Entei, and Entei's fast move is pretty good, but it doesn't charge up its uh, charge move that quickly. I'm going to fire off the overheat against the Bulbasaur here, and this is a little bit of an overkill, if you will because uh, that really wrecks. In comes Torterra, and I actually make the swap into Charizard. I'm trying to get to this Blast Burn here, and we're going to wrap this up really quick. Even though Torterra is grass and ground, that Fire-type attack will be super effective. We're going to jump in here with the Mammoth Swines. Mammoth Swine is going to come in and deal with these dragon types. So you saw earlier we used a charm attacker to defeat the dragons. Dragon is also weak to ice. So here comes Mammoth Swine. I brought three of these big boys from Community Day with the Avalanche. We're going to Avalanche this Dragonair. Dragonair is one of my favorite dragon type Pokemons. In comes the Big Bad Dragonite. And we're actually able to get to an Avalanche here. Let's see if it's enough. And it is. Dragonite is flying and dragon, so it does not do well against the ice type attacks. Definitely bring an ice boy with you when you face off against the dragon type team rocket. I'm just going to bring all the muscle I can. We're going in with Tyranitar and Metagross in the back. I'm going to use these smackdowns against the bug type Venonat. Bug is weak to rock, so it does a whole lot of damage. We are going to defend that Poison Fang. In comes Muck, and I'm going to fire off this Stone Edge here against the big Muck boy. It does a good amount of damage. I'm going to fire off a few more Smackdowns, and we have Energy Banked. In comes Venomoth. This is perfect for us. It is Bug and Flying, so the Stone Edge will destroy it, and it does. So we sweep that rocket really quick. Guys, what are your favorite Pokemon to use for the rocket battles? I know everyone is a little bit different. They like to use their strongest mons, obviously, to do it quickly. We're going to bring in Kyogre here. Speaking of strong Pokemon, I maxed out this Kyogre as well. It is a 98% shiny, so got to do it. We're going to use a few waterfalls here and bring down that Pokemon really quick. In comes Houndoom, and we're going to keep this waterfall train going. We wear down that Houndoom really quick, and we have a Hydro Pump ready for this Arcanine in the back, and this is going to be a one-hit KO. For some reason, my game always suggests Mewtwo, and Mewtwo can be good for these Team Rocket battles, but you have a lot of Pokemon that learn Bite, and it does shred your Mewtwo pretty quick. Going to this battle, I open with the Great Kyogre again. We're going up against a Larvitar Team Rocket. 
here comes the pupitar we can use a few more waterfalls here as well and you know where our, our game plan is we have a hydro pump ready for this pupitar in the back even if it was Tyranitar, this is a strong enough move to bring it down. This might have been our quickest clip of the entire video. That just that entire clip lasted 20 seconds. Going up against this next grunt, I decide to open with Articuno. Here comes the dragons again. So we are going to use that ice type weakness against the dragons. In comes the Dratini. I'm going to switch with that Articuno with a ton of energy. In comes Little Weavile. So Weavile is dark and ice, and this match actually surprised me. This Dragonite is actually going to take a lot of damage from the foul play. We're going to fire off a few more ice shards, go for another foul play. This Dragonite does have wing attack, so it is chunking away at us, and we actually bring it down with Little Weavile. That was pretty cool. That Weavile is around 2500 CP, so it is strong, but it's not quite maxed. Going into the next round, we're going to feature Armored Mewtwo, one of my favorite Pokemon from my childhood and also when they released it. I know a lot of players thought it was just a cosmetic fix, but I actually really enjoy the costume and I really enjoy the moveset. We're going to go in here with Espeon and things are not going to go as well as we hoped, but we've got the Armored Mewtwo ready. Mine is running Confusion, Rock Slide, and Dynamic Punch to offer it the most coverage. I do use a Rock Slide here against the Hitmonchan. This rocket, I believe, says something about our, our these physiques aren't just for show, and that is a giveaway that it's going to use a fighting type Pokemon. So we do bring down those Hitmon Chans, Hitmon Chan, Hitmon Chans. Going to the next match, I'm going to lead with that Armored Mewtwo again. My opponent is going to use Poison type Pokemon. So Poison is weak to Psychic, and we use a few Confusions here to bring down the Grimer. We are low, but I think we can parlay this perfectly if we time our energy correctly. I do use the Rock Sight here against the Golbat and bring it down. In comes a Venomoth, and this is great for us. I'm going to use another Rock Slide because as we talked about before with the Stone Edge, the Rock type attacks are super effective against it, and Armored Mewtwo sweeps that Venomoth. Guys, I was thinking about doing an entire video, uh, Armor Mewtwo's Revenge, where he goes around maxed out and defeats all the Team Rocket Grunts. If you'd like to see that, let me know in the comments. I open with Shiny Gyarados. We're going to use two different variations of Gyarados for this clip here. This is a Bite Gyarados, and we're going to use that Dark-type Bite to wear down the Drowsy. As you can tell, though, it doesn't resist Drowsy's move, so we did get a little bit weak there. I'm going to fire off the Crunch and then switch into another Bite Gyarados to take down the Drowsy. In comes Kadabra, which is an awesome Pokemon as well. We're going to try to get to this Crunch here, but its Confusion Damage destroys us, so we have to bring in our third Gyarados to wrap up the match. All three of those Gyarados were around 3,000 CP. Going to this match, we are going to switch it up. We're still using Gyarados, but these are Waterfall Gyarados. So as we saw before with Kyogre, these Waterfalls are going to wreck this Larvitar. In comes Eradicate though, which is another curious thing. I'm going to try to get to this Hydro Pump, and we do, and I think it'll be enough to bring down the Eradicate, just because, because of the pure DPS. So in comes a Marowak, and Marowak is a ground type, so these Waterfalls are going to do a huge amount of damage. We're actually able to Waterfall it down and beat the Rocket. Going into our next round, I'm going to decide to open with Flareon, in comes Scyther. So Scyther is going to do a lot of work to us with these Fury Cutters and it charges its moves so fast. This is also true in PvP, uh, Pokemon with Fury Cutter charge extremely fast. We're able to farm up to Overheat, but it's still, we have to use our second shield because that charge attack comes our way. I do have a lot of energy ready and I'm going to switch out. Here comes Scizor, Scizor is Bug and Steel, so it's double, quadruple, it's it's extra super weak to fire. So we are going to use those fire spins there. Here comes a Psychic, which as you can tell, doesn't do much damage against the steel typing, but the fire spins from Magmortar are going to be enough to win the match. Jumping into our next battle, we are going to use the Mighty Rhydon. We're going to use Mud Slap Pokemon here to defeat this fire type Grunt. I believe this Grunt says, uh, do you know how hot Pokemon's fire breath can get? I think that's her line. So we use a few Mud Slaps there. It is going to get off the Body Slam on us before we take down the Growlithe. In comes a Charmeleon and we're going to keep on using these Mud Slaps. I'm going to use the Earthquake here just to finish it. I do think I have enough energy to get to another Earthquake for this next match. 
and it's going to be really close and we don't we miss out on that overquake or excuse me on that earthquake because the mud slaps uh, are such a slow animation but Rhyperior comes in to save the day Going into this match, I open with Hariyama. I've got three Hariyama, they are all fighting types. This rocket does say normal, does not mean weak. And this Hariyama is fast. It is bulkier than the Machamp, but it doesn't do quite as much damage. So it has a larger TDO, but not as high of a DPS, if you will. We're gonna wrap up this match in record time. Take back what I said earlier, that was the quickest one. So all in all, we did 34 Team Rocket battles and we got 1500 Stardust from most of them on a couple of them my star piece wasn't on, so I wasn't able to get those rewards. But we did a ton of Team Rocket battles, grinded 50,000 dust. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, check out our other Team Rocket battles where I use Great Leaf Pokemon to do it. And if there are any other Team Rocket challenges that you would like for me to do, like before I mentioned the Armored Mewtwo challenge, let me know. I would love to do those as they are a lot of fun and I think it changes up, spices up the, the uh, kind of content that goes on the channel. But guys, if you like this, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next one.